everyone, this is Letty, Letish41, coming to you once again from my craft room. I am back to share my projects with you guys, and don't mind the background, that's my granddaughter playing with my grandsons. And so, this is one of my projects, guys, and uh, as you can see here, I have a card, and I made this one here for my husband's godparents, because they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. Woohoo! Okay, so I started this card using, um, my card stock here is, um, for the base is, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember, I can't remember <laughs> the paper collection, but I picked it up at Joann's a while ago. And then, um, on top of that, which is under all this, all these images and stuff, is Le Romantique by Graphic 45, here, all this right here. This is my background, so it's throughout the, the card. And then everything else I have distressed, including the the matting. I've distressed the edges, but I didn't ink them up because I wanted to show the wear, you know, the old vintage um, look. Okay, so <coughs> right here to my left, I added this uh, film strip right here. These beautiful women right here. Okay. I apologize if my camera doesn't focus. And then I also added another one over on this side. Okay. Okay, so here at the top left, I add my I added my sentiment using my Movers and Shapers by Tim Holtz. And I simply just um, run this paper through my computer and I typed in Happy 50th Anniversary. And then I just went ahead and I cut the, the piece using the, the, the Movers and Shapers die. And then I did ink the edges to this one using my tea dye and um, black suit. And then here I added a couple of my flatback pearls that I think my girlfriend sent my way. And then here on the right, I used this image here of, um, um, of Charlie. <clears throat> and then what I did was I went ahead and I curled in. I did a little curl in or bent in um, corner right here as well as down here. And then um, I purposely um, left some black um, trim here and on this side and then down at the bottom because I thought if maybe I needed it for, you know, for something, I needed some kind of, you know, trim, extra trim, then I would have it. And if it came to the time where... I didn't need it then I would just you know cut it off so I'm glad that I did because I was able to apply the uh, flatback pearls from Formosa and then with my female image um, I did the same thing I distressed everything around it and then I just curled this top corner here and then I used some of some more of my black back pearl now this is kind of like a yellow or um, light greenish color I'm sorry I gotta keep an eye on my granddaughter because she's playing on the other desk and I don't want her hurting herself and um, so that's what I've done and then down here at the bottom I added a piece of trim that my girlfriend sent my way as well and I used this one because I like the the quality you know not the quality but the um, it, it was so kind of shabby vintagey you know, the, and then on top of that, I added some of my um, mesh um, bling in black. And then over on the right bottom corner, I added uh, one of my handmade um, paper gardenia flowers. Okay, and then when you open it, again, I did the same technique. I distressed the whole edges, and then I ran the paper through, well, before I dis uh, distressed the edges, I ran it through my computer, and I uh, typed in happy anniversary. And then I have my little sentiment there. And once again, it repeats happy 50th anniversary at the bottom. And that's it. So that's for my husband's godparents celebrating their 50th anniversary. Yay! Okay, now before I begin to say anything, um, or I mean not begin to say, but before I, I share my next project, um, I went to look for a well it's it's um 
this is a wallet slash uh, phone book or, or bookcase. And what I did was I went and I looked for the um, for the for the hard case. And um, but okay, so I, I I already had the the um oh gosh um hang on a second. Okay, so um before I show you. I want to go ahead and give credit to um, Shibi, Shibi, and Milo. Sorry, let me see. Because I have other stuff written on there and you won't be able to focus on this. Okay, that's Chibi, Chibi, and Milo. I think that's the way you pronounce it. C-H-I-B-I-C-H-I-B-I-A-N-D, Milo, M-I-L-O. Okay, I have to give her credit because she uh, inspired me to go ahead and make what I'm about to show you. I had previously wanted to make one, but um, I didn't have completely everything I needed. And when I saw her video, I just said to myself, I have to make it. So here I am sharing with you guys what I have made. Here we go. I made my own, um, my own, um, sorry my own uh, wallet slash uh, bookcase and I used the graphic 45 and this is um, uh, fashionista yeah so I used this paper pad here and my girlfriend sent this one my way thank you girl let me go ahead and back up here a little bit a little bit huh okay so this is the paper I used, and these are the two papers that I, well, the one paper that I used. This one here, the one with all the women, and then this is the back of it, the back of the paper, the, with the black flowers. So anyhow, I used that for the inside. So let me go ahead and begin by sharing what it looks like. Okay, so this is the way it looks in the front. Here's the closure right here. Okay, here's the side. Here's the back. Here's for the camera, and here's the closure on the back, and it's got three of Tim Holtz um, long fasteners, and then this is again one of uh, Tim Holtz, <laughs> Tim Holtz, um, uh, like a closure uh, that I got from the um, the package that you buy where he has a bunch of uh, different uh, cuts, die cuts already. Okay, so. What I do is I just open it up and see here, this one is one item that I was waiting on. And this is called a hitch fastener. And I didn't have any and I couldn't find any at my local craft stores. So I had to order this on eBay and I shared that on my previous video. Okay, so this is the way it looks inside. Okay, let me see if I can get closer. Okay, guys, I'm sorry I'm back. Uh, my camera um, quit on me. My batteries went dead. Okay, so this is the inside. And um, what I did here was, uh, this is, here's the paper that I used for the inside. You know, the one with the beautiful flowers. And here, what I've done is, I, let me go ahead and move my, I made three, three, three um, pockets, okay? And let's see. Here's one pocket, here's the second pocket, and here's the last pocket, okay? And I, um, I added three pockets because I wanted to make sure that I had enough, you know, to place my, um, my stuff in there. And on this one, I added one of the frames from the paper collection. Here, on this two here, I added a, um, a tag okay from the same paper collection and now um, on the pockets I made them to where I can pull on them you see that um, and how I did that was by folding the sides of, of each pocket and um, and then over here I added another one and again the same technique and this is where you know you can put your cash in okay um, so this is one side 
Now, I didn't add, which I might go back and add it. I am not 100% sure, but I can still add a little hole. You see where my, um, my speaker is at? Earpiece part or whatever. I can still put it right here, but I didn't because I always use an earpiece. So that was the only reason why I didn't add that, um, that little, you know, I didn't punch that little hole. And I can always just add a, um, an eyelid. Okay, so moving on to the, the other side is, um, is where my phone is at. Okay, and then if I open my camera, there's nothing blocking the camera. Okay. And then I'll go to the pictures, and I'll show you the pictures. There's one, there's the other, and there's the other. Okay? So, so there you have it. Um, there's the side, there's the top, there's the bottom, and the other side. Now, I did have a bit of a uh, hard time when I when it came to doing the, um, you know, the the uh, the flash, you know, the camera part because I used that heavyweight chipboard because I wanted it to be, you know, durable, sturdy. Um, this is all I had at the time. Um, when I say I had a little hard time was because when you cut the paper in little slits right here, you have to bend them in, and when I did that. There was hardly any paper going, you know, um, being folded over um, because of the thickness of the of the chipboard. Okay, so that was a bit of a of a challenge there. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> look at the thickness. See that? <coughs> it's pretty thick. Okay. So that's why I had a bit of a hard time. And then for the, um, I think for the closure, yeah, I mentioned that I used Tim Holtz um, grunge paper, um, die cuts, pre-die cuts. But yeah, that's that's what I did, guys. And then right here, I'm still thinking, I'm debating whether I'm going to punch another hole and then add an eyelid in case I want to hang um, little charms on it. But I'm not too sure yet. I am thinking of making a couple of more that I can, you know, swap out to. But I won't be able to remove my phone case. I'll have to continue to buy a couple more. My daughter wants one, but she wants one um, like uh, just random pictures of the babies. Uh, what do you call that? Um, oh gosh, I, I just can't get it out. Anyhow, now when I was when I was done with my book, what I did was um, because I was planning on you know putting it in my purse, I went ahead and I did a coat of this collage um, um, podge by <clears throat> excuse me uh, Tracy Tracy Bautista and it's an Aileen's or Aileen's Aileen's brand and it dried up pretty good you know pretty pretty quick so I did a coat of that maybe I'll go back and do another layer I'm not sure but you you can and um, I didn't do it to this but I can always go back and do it to the closure as well. And um, none of my, you know, closures or, you know, any of it is showing because it's underneath the paper. Okay. So, that's, that's my, um, that's my project, guys. That's what I've been working on. Um, I had gotten sick when I started it. And then, you know, being busy with my grandbabies, I couldn't complete it. And then, I noticed I realized that I needed a closure so um, because I was gonna do a magnet and I wasn't sure I decided to take it off because um, I didn't know if it was gonna do any harm to my phone so I decided not to and I decided to go on online and search for those um, hitch fasteners okay my next project unfinished project is another one this one is using simply some really thin like mashed potato box, uh, cereal box, you know, any kind of box that you have at home. Um, that's what I used, and it's a lot flexible, so you can flip it over to the other side. It's really thin, 
and it's pretty much completed unless I decide to add more of the uh, pockets here and then I just have to adhere my phone on there you know the the case and uh, but you see you know this will cover anything that comes you know that um that you fold in this way and this one here is made out of fabric paper and this fabric paper my girlfriend sent my way see the closure is made out of um, the chipboard as well or cardboard and then I added a brad here and a brad here now I did remove the magnet and um, I haven't done enough research on it to see if I can put it back on if it's gonna you know affect my phone or not but I didn't want to take any chances so you know it's very expensive phone <laughs> so I, I didn't want to take chances on that but I do want to complete this one because it's so me and here's the paper that I used this one here that my girlfriend sent my way as well um, on um, this last rack that she sent me it's by DCWV and you get 12 sheets of the um, fabric uh, paper and they're self-adhesive sorry and they are self-adhesive so I was able to just apply it on there I didn't have to use any kind of um, um, adhesive you know the glues um, the tape or anything like that so uh, and nothing glue or tape or anything like that so so this one's it guys you know these are my three projects I hope you like them and again I want to give credit to um, Chibi 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 and Milo once again there she is right there and I hope she gets to see my um, my project and uh, again like I said I um, I currently used to have or I used to have the note one and that one had a, a, a you know a, like a, a bookcase but um, I hadn't made um, a bookcase till I went looking for the case to this phone the note 2 and I saw that they had you know these right here you know and they run from 30 or 35 dollars on up so I thought no I'm just gonna get the case and I'm gonna go home and make myself my my own I know I, I should be able to be I should be able to do it and after seeing her I thought yes definitely I can I can make one you know so anybody can make one if they really put their minds to it so anyhow um, that's it ladies I just wanted to come back here and share with you all my my recent projects and I hope that you all like and um, don't forget to leave your comments down below they mean a lot to me and uh, thank you so much for stopping by ladies and I will see you soon love you all bye